gonna go off. So 93, between 93 and 95. Yeah. I love this little thermometer that he has. We have to have that for a cheese making. Look at that. It's almost 94 Ooh. now, see? It's, oh, it's going it's really up, quick. See? Do you have to actually take it, like pull it off of the, because you turned it off, but it will it rise it will just continue. by being yeah, on the heat. Yep, it's continuing to heat up, so. Um, <clears throat> and so, have, as long as it doesn't go past 95, yeah. right? Do I have what? Do you have a computer or you know, mm -hmm. at home? Mm -hmm. I'll send you the, the full recipe. Oh, good. So, uh, there's my recipes are right here. Oh. We're so lucky. We got a master cheese maker in the house. We're so lucky. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Finally, the video is going to shake, right? Everybody's going to be like, why is it shaking? Well, it's because I'm dancing. I know. Blah, 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 blah. And we're watching. These are special spoons oh. for cheese making oh. because they have to be small, extra small. That small one is 130 seconds. Oh my gosh. Those so, are so cute. Yes. I gotta keep them away from my kids because they wanna eat with them. And mm -hmm. they're like, stop. So, that, so now it's time for the culture. So I go back to the recipe okay. and find out exactly how much and then we're gonna add to that pot. He's pot. Oh. Because you only need uh, not yet. He's going back to the recipe. He's, he's going to email us the recipe. No, no, no. Like he's he's looking at the recipe, but he's going to email us later. Be like, yeah. The temperature might drop. It goes up to ninety five, but then it's like as it probably sits here, it will probably eventually cool past below ninety three. You're like at two degrees of leniency. Not very much. And I was born in New England. New England. New England's considered, I think, Maine, Maine, yeah, Mid Atlantic. Like Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts. I don't think Connecticut is considered New England. I think no, it's I just, think so. I, just, well, I don't. It is to the Midwest. It's to the Midwest, yeah, the yeah. Connecticut is considered uh, New England. I hope. Well, I don't know. It is. Goes, no. Oh, like, like, like Atlantic. <laughs> Mid section. That's what it. What is that? Huh? That's Living all section. of that's it for three is. gallons. Oh, yeah. Wow. So that's all so it is. Look at this. Shake, 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 shake a little bit off on the top Carolina, and you're gonna let it sit there yeah. for a couple of minutes so it hydrates and then we're going to stir it in. Ooh, I'm so excited. See? That's it, out of this big bag. Mm. Oh yeah, last a long time. and then this needs to stay in the refrigerator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that. So everything has to go right back in. Did you see that, that little teeny tiny scoop? Um, That's the inoculant, the cheese inoculant. I will say, so I like to uh, kind of go slow. You know, yeah. just to like make sure it's hydrating. And then I'm going to start stirring from the bottom up. Okay. So that's how I, uh, like Northern Wisconsin, Door County, um, it's kind of like that. Really? Yeah. I miss the, I miss Naples. You can stir this really as vigorously as you'd like. Yeah. Um, you just got to make sure that you stop the milk <laughs> when you're done. Stop the milk so it's not, not moving, moving. Yes. when you're done. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop. I'm I'm not particular. Some people are particular about the bubbles on top. I'm not. So you you can't go over a minute and a half of stirring. Don't go over a minute and a half. Because it's it's gonna start thickening already. Just just from that little tiny bit of inoculant. Yeah. Those organisms are happy, huh? So it's the same for making Busy. yogurt. Well, uh, and they'll have uh, that website has yogurt making yogurt cultures, cultures too. too. See, and I have I've made yogurt, so it's very similar. And then I've put them into like 
a half gallon jugs or quart jars and then I put it in a cooler with hot water mm -hmm. and then overnight it will thicken and oh, then it thickens on. more when I put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so then how long does it need to stay in this pot? It's going to sit here um, for about 35 minutes uh -huh. and then we're going to add the rennet and then you have to let it sit so that it actually congeals. So it will be, it's, cheese is more of a waiting uh -huh. than a doing. Uh -huh. like so in you between. go through the steps like and then just wait. So now it's getting the flavor, it's mm -hmm. changing the milk, it's breaking down the proteins, um, and turning it into cheese um, at this point. But it's not going to be thick enough to make curves until we put the rennet. Yeah, there's more waiting. It's, a, it's really not a whole, a whole lot of labor. Mm. Can yeah. you pour this off like into another container? Like, if you want this is your only pot for some reason, and you want to make another three gallons, would you be able to, in the stirring process, pour it off, or will it go if, too cool? If you, what I would suggest then is, if you're gonna do that, um, add your, don't add your culture. Bring it closer to a 95, or go slightly above, maybe 96. Pour it into where you're gonna do the rest of the process. And there you add your culture, you add your rennet, you do your stuff. Okay. Um, and you always wanna use something like this. Like a stainless steel, yes, something not aluminum. Stainless. Uh, no, don't use not aluminum. aluminum. I know, I don't have aluminum, but I've accidentally bought aluminum pots before thinking that, I'm like, this is not stainless it steel. Taste, it would, yeah. the cheese will actually taste funny. Uh, and it's bad for us anyway. Even aluminum foil I don't like using. Because even the aluminum foil can like flake so off. Not a yeah. I, I don't do the whole I know, you know but, I'm not either. but but I, the aluminum foil sometimes. Aluminum no. foil I'll I know. Use. I just need to keep it from from burning. Or from getting like sometimes if it's acidic, something acidic like lasagna, if you put it on the lasagna, you put it in the refrigerator, you'll find out like the aluminum will stick yes. to the top and, and it, it will, will start off. dissolving yes. into your food. Yes. So you gotta be really careful that no, you cannot uh, use aluminum foil with, with acidic, acidic things. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is you have to use plastic mm -hmm. first and then the aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. um, you have you can't come into contact with sauce. As a matter of fact, when when you do a autopsy on any Alzheimer's patient, yeah. you're going to f the, the the only commonality between them is that you find large deposits of aluminum mm. in the brain. That's why I also don't um, like open a can of anything that's in aluminum cans and then put them in the refrigerator. I definitely, if I'm gonna use something, a can of something, I'll like take it, put it into something, I'll put it in the, but I don't like, my grandmother used to store it in the refrigerator, yeah. like the part that I she didn't use. Store, I didn't know there was in a the can, yeah, don't yeah, store. I don't usually have, okay, to be clear, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't buy soda. I did today because Charity said, can we all have some soda? And I oh. said, yes. So I got a thing of, uh, what is that, root beer? Wait. But I don't ever... Judge, 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 judge. I drink soda. Jeez. Over a little red. I don't have soda anyway, and I know like I need to have soda because they put their brick crap in it. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is, there's this, there's something in there uh, that, yeah. I still drink that loses their mind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm addicted to Coca-Cola. Yeah. 